Well, the garden party, <clears throat> an inclusive party, it includes people no matter who they vote for. It even includes their parties. Not so so much on their part of it because uh, we're kind of seen as the enemies of parties. But uh, like the Green Party, for instance, um, we're too green for them. And uh, the Conservatives, we're too conservative for them. And the Liberals, well, we're too liberal for them. Uh, the Communists, well, we're probably practicing communism. So we're too communist for them. And we're socialists. Mm. And we're practicing socialists, so that's probably too socialist. <coughs> but uh, we have to carry on with the projects we're doing. So in dealing with the environment and the uh, changes in weather, pa weather patterns that are going to mess up uh, our food, uh, food uh, availability, and security and with a monetary system that could fall apart at any time because it's built on nothing. It's built on numbers and Google guns and numbers and, and uh, written out of the sky. And uh, so there's no, no security in the, in the monetary system. But we still have to eat. So uh, well, we've got uh, we, we're expanding our garden operations now into the. I think we're probably in Elizabeth May's riding, as well as uh, well we're out and we've got the contacts in Souk and contacts in View Royal, where we are going to develop the. Uh, Victory Gardens. Uh, so it's across. Uh, out, we're out, we're already uh, going out out of the uh, the riding, but uh, we're inclusive. Like I said, uh, it's all one world, and we're uh, it's got to be done everywhere. So uh, it's just uh, not not working at it every day. But uh, it's something I'm going to be uh, following up after the election uh, through the winter to expand the uh, the gardens here in the uh, lower Vancouver Island, and hopefully we've got uh, thousands of them going before spring. Okay, well that's it for now.